Hey, yo, what's up? What's up? This is your boy Ray. Welcome to the Real Vino Talk Podcast. I'm here with my man C Dub. What's going on with you, baby? What's going on, bro? Nothing much, man. Another Saturday here. Another Friday gone. Happy weekend to you. What's up, Dave? Not much, man. Doing pretty good. Cool. Another another Saturday. I'm here too. <laughs> no doubt. This is just another work day for you. It's yeah. you know what? It, it, it's hard. Like, yeah, this is work, but it it's a lot better than a lot of the other stuff I do. Yeah. This is at least fun. We talk yeah. about that all the time. No doubt, right? Yeah. It's like getting away from that whole working for somebody until it's time to retire game and get into what we want to do that's going to make us happy and fulfill us. And we don't need much, Dave. Trust me, so I'm telling you. <laughs> we don't, we're a couple of dudes. We don't need a whole lot of nothing. No, I'm yeah. – I'm pre- and, I, and I know people that, like, have seen the pictures on my bar or that kind of crap might not believe it. But, no, I'm actually pretty low maintenance. I, I, yeah, like, I, dude, I just – I want, like, a cave I can hang out in and, yeah, and, and just I don't want to get bored. You got a bar at the house? Oh, yeah. Oh, he – he said, "Oh yeah, like yeah. that joint massive." Oh, oh dude, my uh, <laughs> he sounds like he's got everything there that I want to drink. <laughs> my uh, right, right. my bar is probably twice the size of that bar downstairs. Oh, and you know what? <laughs> I, I, I don't I disbelieve it for once, <clears throat> for once. But you know, you work hard, you play hard, right? Did that. Well, so it's like I, so. I have always said that the happiest I ever was. In a job was when I was when I was a bartender, right? And so my whole shtick has always been, I will never have somebody come over and be like, "Hey, can you make this?" And I don't have it. The only time I have ever been stumped is when somebody asked me for a light beer. Mm. I was like, really? "Well, I I have real beer, and I can add water right. to it for you, but <laughs> I, I do not." I, there's an avenue for the light beer, though. If you just want to have... It depends. Some... It depends. Oh, man. We got to shoot the podcast there. <laughs> tell me. What are we doing here right, right. now? Right. He's got the backdrop and everything. Dave, way to hit us with a pipe bomb. That's not a man cave. Right, right. You should charge yeah, admission to get in there. That's, joint, that's, that's, oh, uh, if, I'm not going to lie. If this shit goes on too much longer, I'm just going to say the hell with it and open a speakeasy. Let's do like it, baby. You did. Do it. Let's do it. But yeah, so that is that is my basement bar. That's what's up, man. What else has been going on with you, bro? Man, not really a whole lot. You know, watching the NBA, catching up on stuff like that. I'm getting bored with all of the, you know, regular talk shows, sports analyst shows right now. Some of them are hard to stomach, man. I can't. You know, Undisputed is hard to wa- for me to watch these days. Like, First take is getting hard for me to watch these days. But I'm going to tell you who everybody's sleeping on. Who's that? Jalen and Jacoby. Yeah, yeah, I mess with that. Yeah, no doubt. That's that's no how doubt, it should no be. Doubt. I know that's doubt. how it should be, bro. Yeah. You know, they they talk about everything. It's not and it's not really a debate show. It's not really a debate show. Yeah, it's not really, this, like first take and undisputed more like a sports debate. Yeah, we already yeah. know like LeBron is like the greatest player in the world to ever play the game. Do we got to talk about him for five days in a row? Do we got to talk about Tom Brady for five days in a row? Well, it's basketball season. Do we have season. to talk it's about basketball the Dallas Cowboys for five days in a row? But that's what I'm, that's my point, see. It's basketball season right now. There's yeah. a lot of games that are played that don't even get covered. Yeah, And that's yeah. what made me move from them sport networks to yeah, yeah. watching Jalen and Jacoby on ESPN because I'm like, t- at least it's everything. something different every day. Yeah, that's barbershop talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. barbershop talk though. Because it's always some different, a different. They can talk about movies that Jalen got the sixty, what the sixty seconds are gone, second yeah. or whatever. So yeah, 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 yeah. He got a good show, man. Yeah, no doubt. He he's no got doubt. a good show. You know, a lot of them guys, man. A lot of those other guys, or the, the and you, networks, yeah, I don't understand. understand what they're trying to really. But I can't talk about a bad football team when you got first place teams in their, in their division that's doing well and you you still talking about a team at the bottom of the gutter yeah you know what i'm saying for and it's stupid topics see i can't i, I don't know about you i'm just saying yeah. i can't i can't listen i can't see too much of that 
Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. The sports, the whole sports thing, man, it's it's diluted. It's diluted. The, the the money and the money. I mean, I'm a sports I'm a sports guy. I'm always going to be a sports guy, but it's so diluted with the money and the and the entertainment part of it and the sport casting part of it. It's like Stephen A. Smith is more famous than the actual players. Than the actual players, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that, corny, that, that, that's the turnoff. Yeah. He's, like, and he's corny. The guy, the guy covering the sport shouldn't be more popular than the guy that's actually playing the sport. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? That's that's the part of the whole media yeah. monster that's I don't it. like. That's you it. know what I mean? You know. Yeah. But, you know, like you say, it's all diluted, but then so is life. And we going to stay there and watch it. Man. Tell life me about is diluted. It. It, it all it, it just like you you know uh come to terms that hey man you know this is all this is all crazy i can't keep i gotta do something different life is diluted too you know yeah so it's on you me or whoever that is looking at what's in front of us and you know we have to ultimately make a decision like what are we gonna let infiltrate our life that's not gonna drive us crazy? That's, See, that's that's, that's, people. that's not gonna drive us crazy. That's people, you know. That, that's just you gotta. That's just eliminating people. I think that we've talked about a lot of different stuff on the show, but I think that we also didn't touch on the main thing that is a driving force behind every decision that we make, every reaction that we have, every uh, motive that we have. Mm-hmm. And that's mental health. Like It's like there's a certain way that I like to live. Mm-hmm. There's a certain way that I like to do things. Yeah, It's what I'm allowing to enter into my brain that to me is stable right right 100 percent. you know it's it's stable is that toxic for me is it toxic for me you know what i'm saying i mean yeah. like I, I mean it's there's a method to it i can understand, you, I, can you understand know I can understand the, you know the, the gist of what you're saying we were talking about you know, the last couple of shows you know and even dave was piping in and we were talking yeah. about women and relationships and stuff like that, but how we deal with those relationships is ultimately up to our mental health. Like, well, can you tolerate? I'll tell you can, this. Can you tolerate? I'll tell you this. When, but let me just because oh, no, I want to no, go. No, I want to. No, 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 let me get like you, I, get I, I come go to ahead, terms go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. with. I come to terms with a lot of what my problem is. <laughs> I come to terms with it, right? And Dave, we gotta work like in the next roll, the please. next season that we shoot, we gotta like uh, have some buckshot fire, or gunshot fire. So when I start shooting these subliminal <laughs> messages out there, that everybody gets it. I want you to know talking that I'm talking you. about you, but you know Without I'm, I'm keeping a G, name. and I'm not gonna put your name in a paper. There we go. Right, right. Pop something off, Dave. <laughs> Full clip. <laughs> right. and, but that's just hey, what it is. And I'm going to return the clip empty. <laughs> I'm going to return it empty. You know, because I'm at that. When, I, yeah. when we came up with the idea to do this podcast, it wasn't just an idea to go into business with each other and do what we know how to do, which is talk. It was to lay a foundation for what I have to say. And for an hour, maybe two hours, you gotta listen to what I gotta say. If you're not interested in what I gotta say, you don't have to be tuning in. But for what makes me, what, what my therapy Going is. Going back to your to your legacy point. Right. From a few episodes ago. This, yeah. is, this is what I have to offer. This, this is what one. I'm leaving, I'm, I'm gonna lay this out. Right, I'm gonna lay this out. I'm gonna lay out how I feel, I'm gonna say it. Yeah. And I'm gonna stand by it. I'm not gonna deviate from it. I'm not. I experienced too much. I've experienced too much heartache, too much pain. I experienced a lot of great things, but how I process them has affected the way I move going forward. Okay. Which, if you're toxic, okay. 
and you have a toxic behavior, you can't be a part of me. Now, is, this is in returns of relationships. This is in returns of relationships. This is in returns of, this is in the, uh, in the aspects of relationships and friendships. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Some guys, I'm cool with it. I, I know this dude. I yeah. can't deal with him on a daily because he's bringing something too toxic to my life. Yeah. It ain't yeah. that I don't love him. I love me more. And everybody has a position in your life. Right. I think um, whether it be relationships or friendships, everybody has a position that they play specifically for the who the person they are and what they bring to you. Right. Um, it could be... It could be from a physical standpoint. It could be from a literal, I just need someone to let off on. Right. To talk to, to vent to, or just a true friend or a sexual partner or yeah. whatever the aspect of that relationship is. Yeah. There's always someone. Right. Right. That right. you try to express yourself in certain, certain ways with. Right. So the challenge is finding one person to express all those emotions in. Right. Like, I. All, I don't want to have three or four different people that I have to talk to. Right. But there's there's certain things that I this this four, five, six, seven things on my mind that I wish I could just have one person to discuss all of them with. Me, right. You know what I mean? Right. And I think that's the the disconnect. I hope they I didn't get that, too far off topic. They, they, they you too, know they too, say too, that too that convers they say that. that conversation and you know one on one. Uh, interaction, you know, promotes a healthy relationship. It promotes mm -hmm. a healthy, that that that's one. That's just one part of it. Yeah, to me, that's just one part of it. If you have a toxicity in your system, <laughs> I don't care how many times I've talked You're to talking you. Talking like Stephen A. Smith. I don't now. care how many times <laughs> I've talked to you. Look, <laughs> hey, I'm trying to keep it clean. <laughs> I'm trying to keep I'm trying to keep this extremely clean. And if it wasn't for my lovely mother, I probably would dive in <clears throat> you know crazy deep. But and see my mom you know, already know I'm crazy, so I I got a little bit more leeway. Hey, I just <laughs> you know she is the one that keeps me like centered. Centered. Yeah. You know, if, you, if I'm getting ready to I know what you know what is. I mean? I know, you know, know she's the only one that I'm going to listen to. Yeah. You understand what I'm yeah. saying about that? So, you know. I feel you, man, 100%, man. It's safe right now. It ain't going to be safe for too long. <laughs> you can say it's safe right now, but there's a, there's a, but there's a David in think, us that want to defeat Goliath right. at some point. Right. But there's, At what point do we let David come out and defeat that? Goliath in us, because everybody has a little bit of the both in them. Yeah, you have your David side and you have your Goliath side. So do you? Do you? Who bring, wins? Do you bring the negative element into your circle that brings that incredible black hole right out, and all he sees is rage, or do you eliminate that person from your life? I say, right here. You just eliminate them from your life. I'm gonna. Yeah. You, you I've know, prematurely cut people off. Yeah, and I think you with have, good reason. I think you have to because they don't know, and most people don't really even care how their imperfections that promote a negativity mm -hmm. affect you. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't really care about that, man. They're just going to come and pop off and jump in your ride and start talking and doing a bunch of whole different, different stuff different that you don't even like. That's yeah. so much more. It's like, wait, come on, dude. Yeah, relax. You know, I'm too kind of like, I'm not. I'm too cool for this. Right. Like, I, I yeah, live. I, well, yeah. I don't want to sound arrogant. I'm chilling right now. But I am too cool for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm chilling you right know, now. I done been in enough trouble. Yeah. I don't need to go back. I'm not trying to revert yeah, to not, where I was before. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm. It's all about growth. So we, I've been looking at that man. I'm just saying, like, that we've been talking a whole lot about conversation, and about, you know, establishing a foundation, uh, 
in a relationship on what she wants and what you want, but we got to look at that mental health side of it too. Like, well, when you say you mental, know, mental health, what what part of mental health are you referring to? Just being able to be mentally strong enough to deal okay. with another person and what they bring into the table. Okay. You okay. know what I'm saying? If I if I meet you for the first time and I see you too loud and too flamboyant for me, I'm not getting ready to rock with you. Cause that's too much for me. Gotta, gotta know. I'm that. a laid back guy. Gotta know. I don't that. need to be in the public. I don't need to be in the public. I I should just podcast. It's a form of therapy. It's not anything that I'm looking at getting, you know, crazy fame off of. Yeah, it is what it is. You know, when I'm said and done on this earth, man, this is what's out there. Yeah. This is what I have to live. So you know, I've been thinking about that. I'm just like, you know, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm too particular. Maybe I'm too uh, strict <clears throat> on how I think I want things to be in a relationship. And maybe that's what's cost me a lot of problems in the past. But, you know, I, 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 can, I can personally agree with you saying I, I've had conversations with myself like, man, why did I do this so soon? Or mm. why did I? make this decision regarding this particular female but at the same time it does make you make a it, it makes you it gives you the insight to make a better decision the next time right i'm not gonna do this again yeah i'm not gonna do that again because mm -hmm. i'm not gonna screw that situation up or right. why was i even messing with you in the first place right i was talking to a female and she was like why do guys do this why do guys do that and i'm like First of all, let me let me explain something to you. 70, 65 to 70% of men are not where they want to be in life. Right. Because we, a lot of times we look at numbers, how old we are. We say, oh, man, I'm 35. Yeah. I need to chill. But do, what do we do to chill? Yeah. What, what, what part of our lifestyles do we change to actually chill? Right. So I was telling this girl, I'm like, you gotta understand that men are a lot of these guys. They're trying to be the the type of guy that a woman wants. Right. So they figure I'll I'll put up this front to be the type of guy that you want, and I'll fake it till I make it, and hopefully, when it pop off, it does. I'm yeah. that guy. Yeah. And nine times out of ten, that guy never gets to that point and right. now the woman is like well why did you lie to me why did mm -hmm. you do this a lot of guys just really want a good woman they just don't they not the type of guy that the woman they want wants right <laughs> it's, yeah. like, like you really yeah. like you gotta kind of be yeah. what she wants right right so a guy will be like well i'm gonna act like this because that's the kind of guy that she wants right and then yeah Getting out of classes, you just you're not a well trained actor. You just so, lost yourself, so so it, it's going to run out eventually. And then women are like, "Why do men lie? Because they want you, and they know they couldn't get you with the truth." See, right. this is this they is can't get you with the truth because this is the flip side of the conversation that those two girls that I was telling you about were having Thursday night, mm -hmm. and, and it's it's hilarious how like right in parallel and in step you are. Yeah, well. Maybe. I think that uh, once you, it's, it's like once lying you can, on a resume. Man. Once you right, once you, <laughs> you yeah, what know, are you gonna do if you, you actually can, get the right, job? Right, yeah. right, well, you right. know what you gotta do. You gotta commit, and you gotta go all the way through with it. Fake it till you make it. So a lot of stuff that you don't know, and a lot of stuff you don't know nothing about, you gotta study up. You better work overtime and, and, and get busy on it. Yeah. So it's just yeah. like, just. But take, that is the sole reason why 80 percent of these guys lie. It's not because they're actual liars. It's I'm I know if I tell her who I really am, she's not gonna want me. Right. So I'm gonna act like that and then I'm gonna try to be it. And I hope the time it matches. That's it's simple. Valid. To me. It's valid. It's valid. And I think it, that's why I mean a lot of women. And it happens. You know. Yeah. And a lot of times it's This is why I think that you still 
need to give it time. You might meet a guy, he's handsome. You might meet a female, she's beautiful, she's gorgeous. But that don't mean that y'all got to jump right to it that day, that night. You know, give it a little bit of time. Try to understand what she's looking for. Try to understand what she wants. But but and we're then, an instant gratification society now, man. Yeah, you know, I mean, and, but you and, know what? And, That's and the problem. We, and we're in a biological clock ticking society where we're all over forty, and these women are like, "You got to be right right now." Yeah, I need you. I need him together right now. <laughs> and we have no. I don't have six months for you to get the thing together. <laughs> but you got to be right right now. Yeah. And, and, I mean, and, and what's and as a man, if you want that, you should be right, yeah. right now. But you know what I'm saying? So they're not asking for nothing that's too unfair. No, I don't think they're asking for anything that's too unfair. I think that when you start thinking that I like him, he's cool. You know, yeah, he he's got this and that, but I can make him better. That's where you lose. That's where you lose. We touched on that last week. You know, you want, uh, if you want a man in your life and what he does or how he lives his life is good for you, then leave it at that. Why would you want to alter his whole state of being? You, I think it, there's a thing of, of respecting how a man loves you. If a man's idea of loving you is to make sure that he walks on the right side of the street and make sure that your door is open and make sure that he holds your hand and he may not send flowers. He may not, I'm generally speaking, right. appreciate how he loves you. It may be the only way that he knows how to love you. Don't say, well, you don't do this, so I don't. Well, he may have never needed or he never had a woman that needed that or well, required it. Basically, he ain't got to spend a grip on you to prove that love It's what it's. Or whatever he could yeah. have to, yeah. But you know what I'm saying, Wh whatever. But it should, appreciate it how a man loves you. A material, uh, you know, material. Because you never know what the last girl did to this guy. You never know what he's been through. You never know. He probably never seen his mom loved correctly. You, we we never know. Material possessions should so you have never to respect how people love you. Material, a, a material possession or material, uh. Material gratification should not mm -hmm. be what's needed to sustain a relationship. You talk to that person. I'm not talking you spend, well, I'm just, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, like, yeah, if, yeah. If, if, if a female feels like, well, he's got to do this or that and that for me to prove that. Well, he'll never be able to prove There's that. There's never enough money. Because it'll never be enough money. There's never enough money. So yeah. if we lost our way along, you know, getting to this point because... It should be about communication. I should be able to talk to you about anything. Yeah. You should be able to talk to me about anything. I should be able to respect what you say, and you should be able to respect what I say. If it is all of me having to put the work in and you don't have to do nothing or change, that's a problem. That's toxic. It won't work. It will never ever work, and that's where that goes back to that compromise. We're in an instant a few weeks ago. It's, gratification you have to society with the you with. that Dave talked about, and that's and that's cool. Mm -hmm. But I'm in a what's safe for me environment. Yeah, that's where you at with yours. Yeah. That's where I'm at. What's safe for me? Because I'm not yeah. gonna let you come into my life and drive me crazy. Right. With your nonsense. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to. This is where I'm at today. Where are the gunshots? This is where I'm at today. This, this, this is specifically for someone. This, this, is where <laughs> I'm at. This, is where, this is where I'm at today. If you are, you, you, you know, and Dave, uh, Chris, there's a lot of women that want a real relationship. Yeah. But I'm telling you something right now. If you don't exact a level of discipline, you won't ever get it. If you keep settling for the same talk, the same, let's go get a bite to eat. What you doing? You keep settling for all that, you're going to always end up down and Now, hole. can I ask you a question? 
Let me tell you something. Oh, no, I'll let yeah. you finish. Go ahead. I'll, 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 I'll ask after you, after you get done. Go ahead. So, you know what's the turn off to me? Is when a woman starts off by telling me what she doesn't want. Biggest turn off in the world is, well, first off, let me say, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Right. Now, I, now, a few episodes ago, we did say that sometimes you have to give a personal disclaimer that, right. okay, this is, I'm not going to, this is me. Mm-hmm. That's more of a characteristic type thing. Right. But when you physically, when there's things that you're physically not going to do. Mm-hmm. That's my. That's like wow. You, you. I might. I might deserve that. Right. I can't go into a relationship saying I'm never because because my ex wife never cooked. Don't mean I can go into the next relationship and saying I'm never cooking again. Right. Or because you know I. It, it, so it's. You have to. Give people what they deserve, no matter what you went through before. Hey. And you can't carry on to the next one. Everybody's got to come to the table with something. And you can't come to the table empty-handed and, like, telling me what Especially you with me because I don't need much. I, <laughs> so, I don't need much either, man. I mean, so, it's just like you you can't come to the table and empty-handed. Like, yeah. this a, we're, you know, I'm going to tell you something right now. Going back to what uh, Dave was saying, being instant gratification, this is a fair change society, society too. Yeah. Fair exchange is not a robbery. It's a fair exchange. You know, what you, what you can do, I can do. What you can't do, I can do. What you can do, I can't do. But we're working together to make it happen. The minute you start talking about what you're not going to do and what you don't like doing because you never did it, you're not willing to put no work in. So you don't need to be in no relationship. Or when you come to a when you come, when when you talk to me, and you tell me, nah, I don't know about that. I ain't going to do that. Yeah. You deserve to be alone. Because <laughs> I haven't listened to one fact. <laughs> I haven't listened to one thing that you've said that makes me agree that, yeah, I, I see her point. Yeah. Uh, and if you putting up with a dude that can't bring nothing to the table and you lived this six months ago, Two years ago, three years ago, back to your childhood, back to when you were ready to date, you need to do something different. Because he shouldn't come to the table and he can't do something for you too. You want to say whatever it is. You want different things, but you're messing with the same type of guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna have I'm not dude, uh, I'm not getting ready to have babies out here and then I gotta I'm I'm up all night thinking about what my son is doing yeah. with his mom, and she with her new guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not wasting my. Yeah, you took an L, and I'm not taking that L. I'm gonna raise mine. I'm gonna be with mine. I'm gonna do whatever it is. But she, I'm still not gonna. Let but her. going back, everybody has to be the person that. They actually try and you have to be the person that the woman or the man want. You ha- it has to be in you to do it. You you can say you know how to cook, right? Or you can say I cook. You can say I like certain things, but is it something that you do? Is it a part of you? So if it's I mean, I mean, I like to go fishing, but I ain't been in ten years. Right. So I don't care what you like to do. What do you actually do, yeah. <laughs> like every day? Yeah. You know, because. And it better make sense. Yeah. It, it, it better make sense what, what you're doing. What do you because like? What what what, we, what 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 are your cat? What is your character? Again, this is. This is. Everybody wants to do. Everybody today, wants to do something different than what they're doing right now. What? kind of work are you willing to put in to do that and it all starts with you yeah it all starts at home right if you want something different change yeah. you yeah i don't want to get you know what i'm when saying i wanted like, a different lifestyle i had to change me first yeah 
I've and and you and you attract what you are sometimes. Right. <laughs> right. So yeah, you pull them right in. But <laughs> so you have to change you to get the type of person. Sometimes you're you not want. even thinking about your whole self worth and what you are uh more than. Because mm-hmm. I guarantee you right now with the way that you're handling business right now, some females out there, some dudes out there, you're selling yourself short because you're not making that person work for you. You make that person work for you. Yeah. You know, yeah. if Papa is a rolling stone, you should see that dude coming a mile away. Or because his pattern never changed. Yeah. His conversation never changed. Yeah. You should be able to see that dude coming a mile away. Yeah. You know, if you settle, we was listening to something before we got here. Mm-hmm. And my man was saying, everything that settles is at the bottom. Yeah. So once you settle for whatever, you just got the garbage time, the bottom feeding. You know, it's it's crazy, man. Yeah. But I'm going to protect yeah. what's up here because I know what I like. And believe me, ladies, what you think I'm fond of, you got it all wrong. Yeah. And if you think I'm going to repeat the insanity, you got another <laughs> thing coming. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen because you have <laughs> got, hey, what am I missing out on? Great sex? What's sex, man? First of all. No, I'm just saying, like, on the, on the grand scheme of things, <laughs> what is it? You don't, you don't, you by yourself. But no. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> what, all I'm saying is that I'm not going to give, I'm not going to give you, man. I'm anybody, just, I'm playing, man. Any, anybody that has, uh, anybody that's ever read the Bible, that's ever whatever. I'm not gonna give Delilah the chance to cut my hair yeah. and take my strength. Yeah. It ain't gonna happen, man. I worked too hard to get where I'm at. It's been a process. It ain't always been pretty. It ain't always been perfect. Ladies, you I realized man, you was kicking it before I got here. I said, bro, I realized it wasn't them. It was me. Yeah, you told me that. It it wasn't them. It was me. It yeah, was what yeah. I allowed. It was what I that. dealt with. It was what I, I did. I didn't. It's what I did. You owned it. Yeah. That. That's the first right. and the most important part of it all. Yeah. It's owning it. Right. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. And that okay. part of me that allowed that Trojan horse to get behind the gate, Dave. <laughs> you know, a lot of people, you know when you use that analogy, I'm gonna tell you something, I've used that Sky analogy here. a couple of different times. And people think that you're talking about condoms? Yeah, they don't even understand, man. It's because people don't learn shit these days. You know? Pick up a fucking book. Yeah. Pick it up, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm not gonna allow you in my realm to destroy me. I see what you're presenting to me as a gift and I've already read through it. I've already, I already know it's not what I want. So I don't give you the doorway to come in and defeat me. You can't. I'm gonna give you all of the God-given respect that I'm supposed to give you because at the end of the day, you are a woman, you are supposed to be respected, adored, mm-hmm. and loved. No but question. I cannot. No question. I, I cannot let you destroy me if well, I see your and, toxic and ways. All, all of that is true, but they may deserve all that stuff, just not from you. Yeah. There's somebody for everybody, mm-hmm. and everybody ain't for everybody. Right. Hey. So it goes both ways. Good point, man. It's, I've, I'm not going to say the person who told me that, but she told me. Because like, there's a difference. Everybody's not for everybody. Just because somebody deserves something doesn't mean you owe it to them. It ain't my responsibility to give you what you deserve. Hey, well, unless, you, unless I decide it is. Right. <laughs> unless I say, okay, Dave, I'll do that. I don't do want to say that I'm not, <laughs> that I'm oblivious to how bad a woman can be. I'm, I'm, I'll tell you, I, <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, over there, man. Like, oh, I've had. To, you have no idea how many conversations I've had with friends. They're like, dude, I'm about you to go back to the bar and get you. I'm about to refresh your drink. I'm not <laughs> gonna tell you. Like, man, good, like, you are not. such a smart guy. Why are you so dumb when it comes to women? Like, how do you? <laughs> you know what? And all of us got to admit this at some point in time. All of us got to admit this at some point in time. And Dave, I'm 48. I'm just finishing. I'm just figuring it out now. Mm-hmm. I was a sucker. That's what I was. Dude, and, and, and you know yeah. what? And here's the thing. And I was and always. That's, dude, and that's okay. Yeah. The reality, because here's the thing. It's at this stage of our lives, if you're still running games and you're still trying to get over on somebody right. and you're still. Dude, that says so much more about you than it does me. Like I, you know what? And yeah, shame on me for not seeing it coming. Yeah. But shame on me. But f you and and the horse you rode in on Trojan or otherwise. Right. <laughs> right. Because you know, dude, uh, fine. You know, and here's the thing. Like if and and I've had this. Like, look, if you would have just told me yeah. that you were in a situation right. and you needed right. X, Y, and Z, the narrative would everything would have been so totally different. You know what? Fine. Let's not get emotions wrapped up in this. Let's not get, you know what? Let's see if this is something that I can help you with. Cool. Right. And if not, but, but why, but, but then why? Like why? Cause again, not only do guys play these stupid games where they're trying to be who they're not in order to get who they want. Yeah. Women do the exact same thing. Yeah. Yeah. But, I think, uh, cool, what man. do you think about that, bro? I don't know where when I say that I messed up and I was a sucker, that that I, I, was. But see, no, no, that, that 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 was the old Ray. But that's that's real. That's real talk. As far as I believe her, bro. As far as I believe she was true. I believe what you're telling me. I okay. take you at face value. Right. Right. Now, the thing about all that is that's what we all want. Yeah. As men, as women, is right. When we say something, we want to. We want you to believe it's it's real, right? So to take a person at face value is not being a sucker. Right. It's actually saying, okay, I'm gonna give you a shot. A sucker is someone who knows that she or he's about to get played, right. and they still allow it to happen. Yeah. yeah. But if I accept you at face value and treat you accordingly, and then you're not that person. I'm not a sucker. You played me. Right. You played yourself, actually, because I was about to really dive into this. So you right. actually played yourself. I think. I, I mean, I, 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 I say you, that. You're a sucker I, if you I, already I, know and you keep doing and it. And that's what I'm saying is that yeah. it, there was a couple of times I knew this was an explosive situation. That's a couple of times I knew, see. You're a nice guy. You know what I'm saying? And I still Charges dove in and I still did it. And I still dealt with the heartache. And then I realized the older I got, something had to change. Some things had to change, man. You had to start looking at the people around you and look at the mates that they have and, you know, how they getting along, how they seem to be on. And it all seems so genuine. You know what I'm saying? And I deserve that too. Nope, nope. No, never, ever, ever play that game because you don't know what goes on behind those doors. Mm -hmm. You don't know... What dude? I I there are four couples off the top of my head that if you watch either one of them, and I'm friends with both of them on mm-hmm. Facebook, you see any of that shit on, or you you run into you happen to be together with them in the bar. Yeah, life is great. Things are phenomenal. They got the little white picket fence and the two point five kids and the little yip yip dog, and life's good. Right. Um, yeah, all four of them, I wound up having conversations with the guys over the course of this week because of another conversation that happened that all four of them are looking to file divorce. Ow. I tell you all the time, I don't think, well, no, I don't want to say that, but I'll just say we all have to understand how people look at us. So you always tell me all the time to be myself, too. The world is not ready for that. You tell me. They, they don't know who I that. know. He just told me. I'm like, bro. He just was, I say, look, that guy, I don't know if everybody's ready for that guy. Dave, yeah. we talk about the podcast. But go I'm on. Like, I don't want to. I say, I say, man, be the guy you are on the living room couch or at the dining room table when we sitting and we cracking a bottle of wine open. That's Be yeah. that guy. And that's why. You I know, am. and 
And I know that. I know that. Yeah. Yeah, this is you too. I'm yeah. not. I'm not saying that you fake. Right. And I, I'm. I'm not trying to front on you at all. No, I got you at all. You, I'm not trying to front. You, no, you no, my man. You my man, hundred grand. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not fronting on you. And, no. And like, nothing like that. Yeah. I just. But I understand. Yeah. I, all my dirty laundry ain't being broadcasted on real Vino Talk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I have a filter as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. So I out, man. Let me preference by this. I don't even want to talk no more because I don't want to come across like I'm dissing or something. But. No, bro, it's total but, respect. I understand everything that you're saying. Yeah, but I understand everything that you're saying. They, I was just you don't realize how people look at you. Bro. I've seen the reaction from some like I wish he I wish he was from the outside looking in sometime. And it's, yeah, I need yeah. that perspective too. Yeah. I, I need that perspective too, and we've been not only like talking about us, but like talking about like how can we get like a female perspective on the show so that it doesn't seem like it's all coming across as just and, us. And, and that was my whole thing too. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? You, like, like it's just us, and then let them say something that we never heard before. We're not women bashers, and you know everything is wrong with yeah, y'all. And right, it's not. But think, when it's only two guys talking, it could. That, that perception can come across. I, I think that if you're going to be involved with me, there's some things that you should know. I'm all right with putting in the work. But it's not going to be... I'm, I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. And that's that's all I'm going to tell you right now. I, that I, I'm I'll, do say, what I'm I'll say this. Do. I'll say this to... And, and this is 100%. Out of all the years we've been knowing each other, over the last maybe four or five, it's been probably the tightest. Yeah. So I know that you're officially stamped. You know what I'm saying? I, I know I don't, I, don't, I don't hang with suckers. Right. I don't hang with right. certain dudes that ain't thorough or ain't, ain't about what they say they're about. So I know I know who you are. Yeah. And I just want everybody else to know who I know. Hey, you dig what I'm saying? Yes. And <laughs> you you know know what? I thought so. about that so much because I said, why don't I write a book? Because <laughs> people don't read. Time. I think it's time. I ain't yeah, got time for 257 pages. It won't be 257 pages. It better be a MacBook or audio book. It's going to be. It's going to get right down. It's going to get right down to the point. <laughs> I guarantee you that. Well, last time you read a hard copy, three hundred page book, right? Right. right. Nobody yeah. does that. Nobody does that, man. You know, just make a documentary, put it on I TV. Got some they audio they for rather you. watch it than they better watch it than read it. Yeah. But I got some audio. <laughs> I got some audio. If you want to hear it, you know what I mean. It's I don't like want to hear that. I, well, I hear it all know, the time. I let them hear it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got some audio. Yeah, if you really want to yeah. get busy, right? You know, and talk about some stuff, cause. My voice is not going. It, it's my voice is not just deep. It's expressing a perspective that you need to hear, and I think it's only fair that I get it out there and share it with the world. You know what I'm saying? And so do that's do, what do, I do we do we as men have a proper perspective of what we think? women want nope i don't think i do I, that I, wasn't I, a direct I, question towards you general well, question I, i'm i'm saying you can answer it in a general well, I'm, a, I'm gonna say i don't think i i don't think i know everything about a woman what do you, you just or ask, like how she feels about different things i, I don't so yeah I, I would i would say so it, so it's it's, it's 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 the worst game in the world, right? Yeah. Because because as men, boys or men, we've been chasing tails since we were eleven, twelve years yeah. old in junior high school. Yeah. And now we're in our forties, and we still don't know. So we've been doing this for over thirty years, yeah. and we still don't know. Yeah. So it's uh it's not. So there's no way they can know. Yeah. It ain't no way they can know. Well, if we don't know, like we we're the hunters. I mean, we got so to. So if we them, don't we, know how to, how to, how do they know? We have to give them the opportunity to speak their truth and to speak how they feel. But then again, it all goes. I'm already going to tell you, any woman that it, comes on this podcast and talk about men are going to talk about honesty and fidelity. 
if a man does not lie or cheat and he makes some money, that is marriage. Communication, sex, and money. If you take care of me in the bedroom, provide, yeah, and don't lie or cheat, what other argument are you gonna have? In 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 a serious relationship with two people that love each other, I need a female perspective. I need a female answer for that. I can't even. Answer if I that. can, women complain about communication, finances, and infidelity. So that that's it, bro. Yeah. So if you lock up those three things, what else do you have a problem with me about? Cuddling. I don't know how to barbecue. I don't, and know, how to, I don't know how to mow lawns. I don't know how to work on cars. Like, now you're nitpicking at this point, right? That's the whole thing. Like Because you, if I can take care of you and I'm banging you right and I'm not cheating on you. But do you have to be in full command? To do, Does she have to be in full command? No, because women want to be led. For her. It's a woman's natural instinct to be led. There's a lot of bosses out there. Every Every female boss wants a CEO. Mm. And Dave? I know some girls that would fight you on that. I'm telling you something. <laughs> and, I'm, and, and I'm ready to go. Right then and there. And I'm ready I'm to go. Then I'm ready to go. Right then and there, we needed that gunshot in the air. Right. Because he just started subliminal. Well, no, so here's and the I'm, thing. Here is the core flaw with the question that you're asking. The core flaw with the question that you're asking contains the supposition that all women want the same shit. No. All women want the same all women want things their way, right? So it it has women wants to be spoiled, not not in a negative way, and that's okay. But I'm saying, I mean, I, we, we don't rehearse the podcast, so I'll make right. sure. I, I, so I, have to, <laughs> so I, I have I have to I have to pull this together as I'm thinking. Say it. But I think what I'm saying is that a female wants to be provided for she wants to be she wants security she wants honesty and she wants to talk women want to communicate and they want to be, feel secure see and i know women that don't want somebody else providing for them because they don't trust other Provi people it's not about the money N no 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 it's but about I, which way wait. you can provide in a different aspect. You can love somebody in different capacities. Right, yeah, you, you, wait, okay, Dave. See, you're gonna you're wait gonna want you're gonna wanna step <laughs> back, think no, this through no, and no, then come no. back. Because the way you're phrasing it, I don't think is the way you're meaning it. So um, Dave, go ahead. Go back to your original topic. Um, to, to what you were originally mm -hmm. getting ready to say. Women. No, I said so. I, you know, I do. I know women who don't want someone else to provide for them because they don't have the trust that that will actually happen, um, or they don't take care of. Or they kind of okay, but so but, everybody has a need. Yeah, okay, but so everybody they want to. They may want to be provided for from an emotional standpoint, but not necessarily from a financial standpoint. That's fine. So, but, but that's the thing. So, but, but there but are if some you, women who if, do. But if you work at Taco Bell. It's gonna be hard for you. Here it is. No arguments. So, so here it is. So, <laughs> so I understand what you just saying. Yeah. So you still have to have a hundred dollars for dinner. You still have to have five. You need a tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Come home with no flowers and candy, and see how it works out for you. <laughs> so, 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 you know, so, so, I'm not, it's not about money, but it's just about, okay, what are we doing? Right. You know, I'm not bad, bro. Well, go ahead. You now. good, man. That's good. That was, that was, I saw your point and I saw his point too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, there's a lot of females out here. They don't need a guy to take care of them. You know, so. And man, I think we the man. We 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 have literally over talked ourselves, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Good conversation, though, man. Absolutely, all the time, Dave. We appreciate your commentary. Thank you. 
Always, man. It's man. always good topics. See, Dub, my man. Thank you for keeping up 100 all the time. This is Real Vino Talk. This is your boy, Ray, and we are out. Peace and love.